I don't think I'm ever going to get over how teeny tiny this thing is. That's a soda. And that's my tiny little Vevor 130 next to it. We're going to take this thing for a test drive and get used to it doing a welding project here. This is a large generator cage. And I have a couple of those that I need to work on. And I don't know about you, but sitting in a chair, leaning over, trying to get to the stupid carburetor is not a comfortable thing. So, what I think we're going to do is we're going to take this generator cage. We're going to slice these off the top. We're going to slice these sides. And then we're going to roll the sides out so that they're going like this. And then this side's going to go like this. And then I've got these pieces of shelving that I bet we could probably weld something like that. And then we can be able to put the mowers up on it and have it at a height that's easy to get to. Or at least that's the idea. We'll see how it works out. we go. At this point, I think what I'm going to do is throw these over into my bench vise and cut and grind all of this off off camera. And then we'll figure out that going right there and the other one going right there. You have your own house. Go live in that. Get out from under my tent. That's right. Go bugger off. We're not after a perfect matchup here. We've already figured out that this thing is warped. And so what we've got is this that we've matched up. And the old hot rodder trick is to put a line across the center of the pipe you're matching mark where the center is going into the pipe that you're putting a notch into and then take a bandsaw or a hacksaw and cut a straight line through the center of the pipe now you can grind it out and match it up i left just a little bit of notch from the saw blade so that you could see how i grind that out so if i match up both ends and there we go. So I need to grind it down just a little bit more into where the saw blade is. On this side here, we ground out all the saw blade area. And as you can see, it matches up pretty decent for a ghetto job. Okay, this thing has 0 .035 wire in it that they sent with it. I've already had a talk with them that probably 0 .03 wire would be a better choice. So we're going to try and run their wire. If not, we're going to swap in my favorite brand of FlexCore wire. I've been running this now going on 11 years. And it makes every one of these cheap little FlexCore welders sing. It works amazing. I'll post a link down below. Alright, let's see. We got to set it so it's on the right thing. There we go, and set it about a third, and let's see if we can punch it and just do a tack weld here. Well, for some reason that went off to that side. What do we got going on here? Oh, the tip is bent. Okay, well, like I said, we need a little bit of getting used to. Okay, we'll try and dump another tack weld over here on the other side and compensate for the tip.
All right, that came out much better. All right, I'm gonna up it just a little bit, and we're gonna do the lower one. One thing I'm definitely noticing is this has the same problem the Vevor does. You would not be able to do a lot of precision tack welding. It has a delay from when you, when you hit the trigger, you can almost count to like three seconds while this is coming out before it actually fires. So if you were trying to tack weld something that was precise, you'd have to actually have the item like this far away rather than right up against it like a high quality welder. Okay, don't quite know what happened there. go we'll clean that up and we'll get you guys a close-up on it let's shut this off there we go now I know the people that are gonna pull up the link for this I'm gonna have in the description are going to point out that it has a stick welder attachment but yet there's only one two connections this thing is wonky and I'm not really sure how I feel about it. That was cute. So this unplugs like any standard positive or ground. This actually unplugs the same as this does. And the MIG wire actually goes through the center of it. So if I go to unplug it, it goes this way. And then it pulls out, and I don't want to do it right now and screw up my wire. But yeah, basically you unscrew that, and this undoes, and this cap keeps falling off for some reason. I don't know whether there's something going on with that or not. Just doesn't want to stay. I'll have to glue it. But either way, that's not cool in my mind because if I want to switch to stick I have to undo all of that down through I don't know it is what it is so if you wanted to switch this over to stick you would put your grounding clamp into this and you'd put your stick into that On another junk repurposing side note, John's currently ripping apart this old picnic table so that we can pull all the boards off of it in order to make shelving in the back of the shed that we're working on. About 12 hours later of letting paint dry, I think the black came out nice. I think the blue from a leftover project came out really nice. We've got both of those done. What I'm going to do is take these holes here and I'm going to figure out where to drill them on this. And the way I intend to cheat and figure that out is I templated the push mower we have here that we need to work on. This is a pretty normal size push mower so I figure if I plus or minus the layout by two or three inches to either side we should be all set. So if I lay this up there and I line up the outside edge with that and the outside edge with that and make sure it's centered, I think it'll come out okay. Then we can just mark it from below and drill some holes. There we are for anybody that needed clarification. Now I should be able to pull the template off, mark from underneath, and drill it out. There we are. As you can see, everything is right, nice, easy to get to from a regular chair. I think this little 
Hitbox M200 I think is a very cute little welder. I do think they sent it with the wrong kind of wire for this type of project, but we made it work. I'll include a link for this if you're interested. I would also love it if you'd throw some comments down below on a quick little welder test idea. Anything you'd like me to see. I'm thinking something like maybe some basic spot welds with some 3.0 wire, maybe some angle iron welding, maybe some basic stuff with it, just to go and see how it does. We know that the 130 Vevor will do all of that kind of stuff, so I was thinking some sort of basic little test along those lines. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below what you thought. And I hope you enjoyed the little project. This is probably the kind of thing we're going to be doing for a little while here on Redneck Computer Geek. Just little side, this is what I'm doing today type project videos. Have a good day and thanks for watching.